Hello guys and welcome back to another Silica Market Update. Today's video is probably one of the most important videos. I'm gonna talk about what it means to buy the rumor and sell the news. I will also talk about why I didn't take profits on my Silica position when it was trading at around 23 cents. Even if I expected Silica to have a correction right after the event. Then, like always, I'm going to do technical analysis on Silica. I'm going to share my price targets and what I believe could happen next. Since the Metapolis launch on April 2nd, Silica is down about 50%. Why is that the case? Well, usually this is what happens every single time a company has an event. For example, I saw this for the first time as a day trader by trading Tesla. I bought into a day trade position on the same day where they had the event where they would talk about their new battery. Guess what? That day I got destroyed. My position went down by 30% in just 24 hours. Fast forward two weeks later, Tesla had a massive bounce to where my position would have been profitable. And that was the day when I learned about the buy the rumor, sell the news. Was Metapolis a disaster? Is silica a scam? The answer is no. It all comes down to psychology, guys. Why do prices go down after the news, even if we get good news? The answer is it doesn't matter how good the news are. It will always be a letdown. And the reason is because people, investors, they get even more excited about the curiosity of what is behind the potential news or the potential announcement. Then when the announcement actually comes out, it is not as exciting as the curiosity of not knowing itself. And this is when we get selling pressure. Traders and newbies, they begin to panic sell as they don't understand what is going on. And they believe they have just bought into a scam that is going to zero. That is what happens every single time. So what it comes down to guys is that curiosity is more profitable than good news. Another thing that I want to address is why didn't I take profits even if I thought that we would have a correction like this. The answer is you have to let your winners win. When it comes to the market cap evaluation of Silica, these are still cheap prices. I am not going to start selling until I see over evaluations. Yes, the price has gone up quickly but it's still undervalued. And I am so bullish on Silica right now that I do not even want to take the risk of taking any profits too soon. I am convinced Silica will soon break its all-time highs. Of course, that is my opinion. Everyone has a different opinion. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the chart. This is why I believe Silica will break all-time highs really soon. I see a lot of people talking about how Silica is just going to have a correction that is going to last 12 months. I am extremely bullish on Silica, guys, because look at this weekly candles. I understand in the past, Silica may have had rapid appreciation like this, but this is not like the previous pumps, guys. Look at the size of these candles. Look at the amount of volume. Now, we're actually going to do some technical analysis. We're going to start at the monthly. We have a huge, massive, bullish engulfing candle. Now, this means we're likely going to have a macro reversal, guys. In addition, the monthly is now above the 10 moving average, also the short-term exponential moving averages but let's go down to the weekly the macd is exploding and we are above every single exponential moving average and every single moving average as well now down to the daily is where things are gonna get a little bit more granulated it's going to be a lot of noise it's going to be a lot of volatility silica has gone down to the 50 percent retracement level which is around 13 cents and we got really close to the 61.8 which is around 11 cents why are we seeing a bounce in the immediate short term on the daily we are testing the last level of exponential moving average support and these are the green lines this is short-term support as opposed to long-term support, which are the red lines. Look at the daily MACD. Yes, we are seeing weakness, but so far we're still in what you would call an uptrend. And like I said, these bars 
they could start to print green again and oftentimes they do okay now we are down to the four hour guys a lot of day traders are probably looking at this we're gonna start with the macd the macd is printing more and more pale candles meaning that this sell-off is getting weaker and weaker also if you guys look at the rsi we are potentially breaking above the resistance line meaning we could see the next pump any time soon if this actually follows through okay guys now we are going to remove every single moving average and we're just going to look at price action by itself so far on the four hour we have a very very defined falling wedge guys this falling wedge is looking beautiful I mean, look at the amount of volatility. The closer we get to the apex, the less volatility that we have. And right now on the four hour, we are starting to see some decent volume relative to really recent price action. But once again, let's go ahead and go down to the one hour. If you guys can see on the one hour, this is definitely more volume than we had throughout this whole period. Maybe back here, we had more volume and that is when silica was on the uprise. What are these pumps where we get rejections, right? It seems like silica is about to move higher, but it doesn't. These are not so-called scam pumps. This is just normal price action. Silica has a low market capitalization. Therefore, when it moves, it moves with a lot of volatility. And if we are in a short term downtrend, traders are going to wait for silica to pull back to some specific exponential moving averages before they begin to short again. And that is what we see every time we get rejection like this. So right now, even though we are breaking out of this falling wedge on the one hour, we could still see rejection and they move to a lower level. This is what you guys should be paying attention to. Right now on the one hour, we are printing a candle outside of this falling wedge. Now we are likely to come down to the support line and this is going to be the moment guys. If we're able to hold at this line, we're likely to move higher. But if we go back inside of this falling wedge, we're gonna have a little bit more of consolidation. Now let's go ahead and take a quick look at Bitcoin. Some folks are worried that we have this double top on the daily and that a correction would follow just like we had here. Look, double top correction, double top correction, double top correction. There's a crucial difference between then and now. Back then, we only had sideways consolidation. If you look at the exponential moving averages, which are the red and green lines, they never crossed. But right here, we can clearly see that the green lines have gone above the red lines. So this means that this pump is obviously a lot stronger than the previous ones and with some confirmation as well. Okay, now we are looking at the Bitcoin dominance, guys. This is the reason why all coins are pumping. We are having a small pullback in the immediate short term. That is normal. We had one right here, we had another one right here, and we have another one right here as well. All coins are getting ready to outperform Bitcoin very fast, guys. This is not the time to have paper hands, especially when it comes to all coins. I think it's funny that a lot of uh, people come into the market and they want to pull, you know, a two, three, four, five X, but then they do not like the volatility to the downside, guys. If you want to pull a 10 X, you're going to need volatility and volatility could also mean a 50% correction real quick. If you don't want to have so much volatility, get invested into Apple and maybe double your money in five years. So guys, if you have any questions regarding Silica, Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrencies in general, get into our Telegram community, which is in the description below this video. Also the top comment for now, you can access our VIP group for free. So make sure to get in as fast as possible. Anytime, as soon as I press a button, it will become a $5 a month membership. Make sure to get in now especially if you're a new investor in cryptocurrencies a community is going to be extremely valuable for your success like always if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a thumbs up also consider subscribing to remain updated and i'll see you guys in the next video